guys. Welcome, welcome to another stream. Last time we, uh... Last time we went into the Forbidden Forest. And... Here we go. Last time we went to the Forbidden Forest, uh, we fought a lot of dudes, we fought a lot of spiders, died a lot, uh, took a herb herbology class, and potions class, hopefully today we'll take the beasts class. What the hell was that? I had some Starbucks today, because I drank a lot last night. So I'm a little, I'm a little shaky. That's what Starbucks coffee does to me. Still just a little shaky, a little sick, but I'm awake, so it's all good. I'd better keep good. an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Found one here. I wish I would quit saying that every t if I found one here already. Sebastian. Over here. I'm right in front of you. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Uh, I doubt that. This way. I doubt- There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Uh, that doesn't look very disguised to me. Come on now. Sebastian, are you coming? Or How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. He trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Gear slots are full. Oh. Huh. Whoops. Which gear slots? Let's see what this hat looks like. That's nice. I like that. Uh, I want that. So I'm gonna go through and it keeps the style, so that's good. Keeps the style of things. I'm gonna keep whatever I'm not 
keep whatever I'm wearing. And... This one can be upgraded, so I'm going to keep this one. Unidentified neck item. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. All right. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Frango. Confrango. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Where's Confrango? That's Expelliarmus. Good friend, go. Here we go. Stick to the targets, though. Good friend, go. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I like I've that. got it. I like that. Done. That's kind of cool, I like that. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. 
there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Me, Tan. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... Does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell hey, me. Hey, Hope Cube, how I've are you? I've been studying archaic forms how of magic doing? for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Thank you, Sebastian. That's when I awesome. head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. That's a cool spell I just learned. Whoops. <laughs> not well, you? Oh, that's not... That's too bad. I'm doing alright. I drank a lot last night. Woke up tired. Had some coffee this morning, and now I'm shaking. I would like to leave this place, thank you. <laughs> uh, by the that, I'm alright. Shaking is good. <laughs> Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. Damn, okay. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Anyway, why are you not doing you? well? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place, and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Damn, okay. Sebastian's Back to go, gonna bye. Be an oh, okay. Bye, Hope Cube. Hope you hope you do well. Hope you get better with whatever's going on. Hey, I'm level 10 now. Woo! Where are we going? I have no idea. I gotta fix this hat. Does not look good. Let's get some more... Should we get more dark arts or... Finio Mastery. 
Sofindio casts a slice through infected enemies and strikes at additional targets. So I can't do any of this stuff yet. Won't be back, hopefully. Hmm. Huh. Well, whatever's going on, I hope it hope it gets better for you. Let's get some dark arts. So why not? Blood curse. This arming charm. Uh what is this one? Blood curse. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts. Well, I don't know what a cursed target is. Huh. What about core magic? Uh new spell is added. Okay, that might actually be useful right there. Let's test it out. Right trigger and... Rebellion. Whoa, hang on. Okay, so we're gonna have... That one there, we're gonna have... Incinero, Incinero, yeah. We have that there. We're going to have Expelliarmus there, and we're gonna have this one there. Okay. Ha! That's that's helpful. That's really helpful. Uh, Owl Post. Oh lord. Okay, what quest do we got? Flight Test. Uh, I don't have enough for that. Damage Delivery. Let's do this one. Why not? Where are we going? I'm assuming this is in Hog's Maid. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, that's doable. We're going to. Travel there and go get some extra cash.
Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Huh. Okay. Alright, where are we going? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh... Let's go to Hogwarts. Jeez, dude. That's a long way, man. I don't have a broom either. Actually, while we're here in Hogsmeade, we should go to the... Uh, Let's go to this while we're here in town. See if we can buy a broom. Probably, probably can't. But it sure would be helpful. new face wonderful hello mr weeks is it alby weeks at your service welcome to spin witches apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted I had to travel as far as london to meet with my supplier and i've only just returned thankfully with inventory i presume you're in the market for a new broom got a few rare u weavers available ember dash silver arrows wind wisps too no matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. I don't think I'll be able to buy one, but we'll see. Jeez, we're very close. We are very, very close. doing business with you. That item is of the highest quality. That 
item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Be right back, guys. bring out my broom. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm.
is that? Oh, no. Rebellion. Is it just not available right now? Hang on. Not do it yet. Huh. Let's wait to do this. Gotta go back into Hogwarts, I think.
Nice to see you, my young friend. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Why do you found one here? This guy gets like no sleep. Now I can use it. Hey you, Hufflepuff. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But yeah, for some okay. reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Excuse Enough you? of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Damn, okay. It's hard to control. Seven out of twenty two, Jesus Christ. Made it. Ah -ha -ha. 
Dang it. That's tough. It's almost there, too. Glad to see I'm still the reigning champ. But what say you? Want to try again? Sure. Ready when you are. Now that I know what I'm doing. This is rather fun. I hit that. Come on, hurry up. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I suspect Mr. Weeks would be glad to hear how I fared. a much, much better way to travel.
That's why I couldn't do it before. We were in Hogsmeade. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. With something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Can I upgrade? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. This is fun.
wonder who lives here. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Mm. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Thank you. your field guide, I'm most pleased to be included. Hmm. Welcome. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And, uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care.
Okay, that's not too bad. What all do I have in terms of potions? I have a, that potion. I've got that potion. That's good. Uh, so I cannot do that right now. So let's do the main one. Actually, be right back again. Sorry, guys. Why shops always referring to standard and
the heck? Hello? there. Perhaps you can help me. I don't think so. Actually, maybe Oi, should. can you help me? Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay. That's really confusing. No. I don't, I don't want this quest. It's a side quest. I don't want that. And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the upright. Goblins! Werewolves! Where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 'Master stopped me, and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor.
What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Oh jeez, okay. Splendid. Now. Evanesco on those chairs. work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old Is it for you man. here? I Wait for wondered you. where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Oh wait, I know what I need to do. old tea that can't be good or maybe it, maybe it is I don't know it's gotta be way in here I see.
not identify face item? How do I get identified space items? what we can do. Somewhere in here, she's gonna teach me how to do this. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Uh. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Okay. Defended the room, so I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> All right. for any interactables. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Good question. Revelio. Was that a golden stitch? Can I catch it? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Rebellion. Where'd it go? Something over there. <laughs> I hope that house elf can find us in here. I don't know what that is over there. Trigger something just in case. Rebellion. Strange. Perhaps I could get over here.
Well, now I'm stuck. Okay. break the game. Uh Love you. How do I get it down? It's <laughs> a good question. Uh You know what probably nothing important over here. Professor Weasley, Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <sighs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar there we items go. of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Thank you. 
I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds.
will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I cool. shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Sure. <laughs> That's not centered at all. It's fine. This is cool.
We're good now. I think we're good for now. So we're at a five. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wait, what? No. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform... to customize it. the size of an idol. Ha! 
Nicely done. Ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Very nice. Very nice. Can I change this one? Do not. Wait, I want to see what the, uh, Where'd you go? There you are. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. 
Hmm, sounds perfect. Thank you, Deke. Mm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. stuff an even bigger space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor I shall keep an eye out good I'll leave you to it this is your space now Use it wisely. Cool. Oh, I could decorate more. It's gonna be a lot to do. A lot to do. Be right back, guys. Be right back. back uh we have a lot to do lot lots and lots and lots to do change color too mm. do 
Oh, Jello. I'm gonna be doing this for a while. This is the kind of stuff I love. Might be too much blue, but I'll change it later. I'll change it later. I'll do some work in here. Probably off camera. You know, nothing too important. Hang on, my cat wants in. Never mind. He's meowing at a different door. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, maybe these will look better. Now 
now you want in, cat. See what all these other ones look like. Ooh. This is so much fun for me. Seriously, I'm having a blast. Wally! Wally! No! Quit!
Do the roof. Yeah. Very nice. What do we got here? That's good for now. Some lights here. If I can at some point. It's a little dark over here. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Let's see. I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Sounds perfect. A little less bright. There we go. I'm actually gonna get rid of this stuff. How do I leave? The door, I guess. That's cool. I like that.
I see this from the map? Uh, I remember it's in the astronomy wing. I do have skill points to do and whatnot too. Uh, talents. Controller batteries are low, really? Are they? Yeah, yeah they are. Okay, be right back guys. check something real quick. Hello. have to end the stream here guys figure out what's going on thank you those who stopped by actually wait i hope cube could hear me what the hell is going on
Uh, okay, I'm gonna end the stream. Bye, guys.